For as long as I can remember, one thing about us Eagle fans is we love the safety position. We love it. I remember Wes Hopkins, Andre Dirty Waters. That's right, I said it. Andre Waters, my man. Brian Dawkins, one of the greats of all time. Malcolm Jenkins. We love our safety position. And this year is no exception because what the Eagles did at the safety position is very, very exciting. <laughs> Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody doing? King Ding Bang here, and I hope everybody's having a great day. I hope you guys are doing well. You should be very excited if you're an Eagle fan about the safety position. You should be very excited because it's one of the most underrated parts of this team and we're going to get into it in a minute because I'm excited about the position okay uh, but before I do that I have to say I want to apologize to all those who wanted me to stream the Flyers game today uh, the problem I ran into it was that it was at one o'clock my time it was at one o'clock my time middle of the day I came home early yesterday to stream the Sixers at one I couldn't do it two days in a row so I apologize we'll definitely do some Flyers game at some point can't do Saturday can't do Friday for Sixers or Saturday for Flyers because I'm very busy, but you know, maybe next week sometime when they start uh, the actual playoffs, we'll, we'll do it. But I just wanted to say I apologize for that. And then I also want to shout out uh, John Porter once again for winning the red hat. Shout out to you, man. Uh, congratulations on winning. Uh, that was awesome, man. Glad to see it. And um, it was nice to talk to you. And, and I will be sending that thing soon. So congratulations to John Porter. Now we'll, we'll see about getting a couple blue hats to give away if, if we can. But uh, once again, congratulations, John Porter. Now let's talk about the safety position. If you remember, the other day I did a video and we talked about the cornerback position and how there's a fight between Sidney Jones and Avante Maddox for that other starting corner opposite of Darius Slay. And I, I gotta tell you, I think this entire secondary is going to be much, much better, okay? Uh, not just the corners and the nickel, but I think also the safety position. Now hear me out. If we go back to the beginning of free agency, we remember the Eagles let Malcolm Jenkins go because he wanted more money. So the Eagles let him go. And at first, in all truthfulness, I didn't want him to go. I wasn't too happy about that move. I understood what the Eagles were doing because I think you're going to see a lot of those vets, a lot of guys that were on that championship team uh, who are a little older, start to go um, the next few years. Okay, It's going to happen next year as well. Uh, we may lose a lot of guys because of the cap situation. But they let Malcolm Jenkins go. And yes, I would have liked to keep him. And I can also admit to you that he wasn't the same player, I think, that he was a few years ago. I do think he slowed down a little bit, but he was such a good leader and so important to that defense, I wanted to keep him. Um, so I wasn't happy when they let him go. And then we got word that the Eagles signed Jalen Mills to a one-year deal to play safety. Now, when they did that, I didn't believe him. I, didn't, I just thought that they said that to make the fans not get upset, but they would just end up putting him back in corner. Well, as free agency went on and as we sit right now, they're playing him as safety. He's playing safety. And I think it's very interesting. Now, I've been a big promoter more so of Razul Douglas playing safety because I think he fits perfectly. I think he could be an all-pro safety. But I think Jalen Mills could be good too. I just wonder if he's he's got to put on some weight, put on, put on a little muscle. But Jalen Mills can be a very good safety in this league. Uh, and, you know, if you look at what his weaknesses were at the cornerback position, he's not the fastest guy. Uh, he gets, he bites on the double move all the time. A lot of that should be, should be gone at the safety position. And, and I believe he could cover tight ends. And he's going to be practicing against guys like Ertz and Goddard. So he's going to get a lot of good practice. And he was talking about this at his press conference today. He's like, I get to practice against the best. I get to practice against the best. And he said the hardest thing for him is going to be calling out the plays and certain things like that he has to get used to. However, I think the kid could do it. I think he can be a pretty good safety. And and yes, you, you know, it's hard to replace Malcolm Jenkins. Um, 
He was a great leader, great player for the Eagles. But I think in terms of skill set on the field, I don't think Malcolm was the same guy he was a few years ago. That's just being honest. Now, if Jalen Mills can learn to play the safety position, you could have yourself a pretty solid safety. Okay, And of course, you know what you get in Rodney McLeod. Now, let's say Jalen Mills goes out there and he doesn't play too good. He stinks. Let's just say it happens. One great thing about this safety situation the Eagles have, you got Will Parks. Will Parks can move to the safety position. He's played every he's played every position in the secondary. He's played on the outside corners, slot, safety positions. He's played it all, and he's played it pretty well. So at worst case scenario, you could get a guy like Will Parks to replace Jalen Mills if he was to struggle somehow, okay? I don't think he's going to. I think Mills is going to do a good job. But if he did, you have Will Parks. And I'm sure they're going to interchange all these guys at times and in certain situations anyways. Because I, I wouldn't mind seeing McLeod, McLeod come out on passing situations. You know what I mean? And put like uh, Parks in with Mills or whatever they're going to do. So if you look at it, the Eagles, they, they give Jalen Mills first shot. If you have to go to Will Parks, you could do it. Even Avante Maddox has played safety at times, so you can move him. The Eagles secondary as a whole is 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 so diverse. These guys can play multiple positions. These guys can do a lot of things. I think this is going to be a very underrated secondary. I think people are going to be shocked. Matter of fact, as Mark Holmes is sitting there, Making videos about how Dak, Pres Dak Prescott, sh it, you know, ties his shoe with his left hand so he's a better leader than everybody else. I think that the Eagles secondary is better than the Dallas Cowboys secondary. So tell that to Mark Homer. Tell him as he's doing another video. I'm sure he's got one right now coming up. Talking about how Dak Prescott can uh, run the mile in, in six minutes. So this makes him a better leader. Uh, tell Mark that Philly 500 said the Eagles secondary is going to be better than Dallas's. I believe it. I believe it. Now, not only do you have McLeod, who who knows how to play safety, he's been doing it a while, and you have Jalen Mills, and you have um, Will Parks if you need it, but you got a young rookie, a young rookie that I think is a stud. I think he's a stud. Uh, Kavon Wallace is going to be a player. He is going to be a player. And I think that by, let's say, week eight, week nine, I think he's going to be very, very dangerous. Okay, and I think he'll, he'll get to a position or a spot where he's playing a lot more. And if McLeod or Mill struggles and you have Will Parks and, and Kevon Wallace, I think you're going to be okay. The Eagles' safety position is very deep. They got defensive backs that are very versatile. And because of this, I think you're going to see a greatly, vastly improved secondary. And, and look, having Darius Slay is the catalyst to that happening. Getting Roby Coleman is the catalyst to that happening. If Avante Maddox and Sidney Jones can hold down their position, I think these safeties are going to do just fine. And I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see what this secondary can do. I think it's not it's not far off to say that the secondary is going to be pretty decent this year. And it, it's going to start with Slay. Then you got the safeties. But what I like about the safeties is you got young guys. You got young guys and you got some depth there. And because of that, I think the Eagles are going to be all right. So the safety position is turning out for me in this camp so far, even though we don't have preseason and we don't have all this stuff. It's turning out to be very interesting and very entertaining to see what's going on there. And I'm excited to see how Mills does at the safety position. I think he has all the talent in the world. Hey, maybe somebody can confirm this to me. But somebody told me the other day that even Rosal Douglas is seeing some snaps of safety. Or he's going to. I, I hope that's true. The guy could be really, really good. I'm telling you. Um, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that this safety position for the Eagles is going to be okay with the loss of Malcolm Jenkins? Do you feel as excited about some of these young guys at the safety position as I do? Um, but I think we're going to do just fine. Can't wait. And it's going to be entertaining as hell. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.